Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Tinkerverse. So today we're going to take a look at machine origin and try to demystify one of the more common misunderstood portions uh, when it comes to dealing with a new laser or somebody who's new to the laser uh, world. So if you ever go to uh, burn a job and it comes out backwards or upside down, this may very well be your problem. So stick around and let's take a look. Okay, so lasers and CNC's and much of the automation world, 3D printers and stuff, work with what's called the Cartesian scale or Cartesian uh, graph. So what that means is you've got the intersection of X, X is your horizontal, Y is your vertical. The intersection of X and Y is a zero, zero. It is a known starting position. Now, according to the scale, when I move up and to the right, I, everything moves positive. So, you know, if I say go, in this case, let's call it 20. If I go 20 millimeters to the right, it would move right 20. If I say 30 millimeters, you know, plus 30 millimeters on Y, it's going to move up 30 millimeters. That is normal. And as far as light burn is concerned, moving away from zero, zero is always going to be in the positive direction. So if I, you know, if this is my origin in the bottom left, as I go to the right, it's positive. As I go up, it's positive. Now, that is the case many times, um, especially when you're dealing with a lot of the standard like open gantry, you know, diode lasers and some of the consumer grade stuff. Now, as you get into other machines, that is not always the case. So, for example, if I take a look at my X-Tool P2, that is actually a top left zero, zero. So, when I give it a positive X, it still moves to the right. Um, which is what's represented here, but when I give it a positive Y, it actually moves down. Um, that is correct for that machine. So knowing where your origin, your machine origin is, is critical to knowing how your job is going to turn out. So let's go back to my ACMR P2 here. So when I'm on my P2, I know for a fact that my origin is, is lower left. Um, so that's fine. However, now let's take a look at if I were to mistakenly set my origin to lower right. So when you do your machine setup, uh, it does ask you for origin location. If you don't have a light burn dev file or an LB dev file that was included with your machine um, and you're setting it up by hand, if you accidentally put the origin on the wrong side, um, this is what's going to happen. So let's, let's set it to lower right. And what you're going to notice is Y positive is up as I expect, but X positive actually moves to the left. So the software, you know, will code this um, exactly as it's shown. So if I flip this around and I'm working like this and I'm doing my, my design and all along I've got my origin set to bottom right, everything looks great on the screen. But now if I take this and I try to execute this job on a machine where the true origin is lower left, it, what's going to end up happening is everything is going to come out backwards because in that case x positive is to the right. So the machine thinks x positive is to the right, but when you're develop when you're when you're designing, um, you're actually designing as if x positive is left. So that's why it comes out mirrored. Um, so hopefully you're with me so far. So the same thing holds true for y. Um, you know if it comes out upside down it's because your Y is in the wrong position. So, you know, no matter where this is, um, there's upside down and backwards. So you're designing it based on origin in one location, but your machine is going to execute it based on where it knows zero, zero is. Um, so that's why, you know, if I tell it to go here and go, you know, if I want to burn the bottom, the bottom line of this T, I'm going to say go to a certain X position and then move you know, four millimeters to the right. And so it'll come up and it'll move. But now with a machine with a backwards origin, it's going to come up and go four millimeters to the left instead. So that's, that's how you end up with mirror imaged. Now, one thing you can do to test this is if I were to go and put my machine, I can take the little um, go to position and drop my laser head somewhere in the middle here. And if I want to, you know, come up here and hit my right arrow 
So I would set my, um, you know, my distance to something short just so I don't crash, like one millimeter, for example. And I click the arrow to the right. I'm expecting my laser head to move right. If my laser head moves left when I click right, your X, uh, your 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 origin is on the wrong side. It's either on the left or the right. So you'd want to flip it to the other side. Same thing with Y. If I click the up arrow expecting my laser head to move up and it actually moves down, um, I would come in here and I would flip my vertical origin to, you know, the opposite of where it is now. So not kitty corner, but just, you know, straight up. So, you know, if my X is correct, my Y is wrong, I'd move it to here. If my Y is correct, my X is wrong, I'd move it to here, etc., etc. So that's an easy way for you to tell um, and get that situated right. So now one other takeaway is dealing with home position. Um, home position and machine origin are not the same. And I, I can't stress that enough. They are two completely different values that happen to coincide more often than not. So, you know, a lot of times manufacturers will set up their limit switches, um, their homing switches at zero, zero. That's the case many, many times. However, there are machines that that is not accurate. Um, I had an old blue box K40 style laser that home was actually top left. So it would home up here in this area, um, but the coordinates up there were actually like Y230 and X0, whereas my origin 00, zero was down here. So just know that just because your machine homes to a location does not mean that that is the machine origin. It just says, hey, I know this position, I know where this is, I'm going to know that when I click these uh, homing switches that I'm at, in, in my case it was you know Y230 X0. Um, and now I know I'm 230 millimeters north of uh, my zero zero position, or away from my zero zero position, and I'm at my X zero position. So it was just, it's just home is just a way for your machine to say I know where I'm at. This is where I I, I can set a a known coordinates to start from. Not always zero zero. Don't treat them the same just because you know your machine happens to home zero zero. So. Hopefully that uh, helps you guys kind of demystify a little bit what machine origin is and, uh, and how it impacts the, uh, the engraving jobs that you're trying to complete. So uh, hopefully this helped and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.